Shalom, Shalom, it's Kapaya, a.k.a. This Pops out of gym at Chicago with a quick sit down, a quick hitter. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakodash, to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, and the elder bishops out of Connecticut, and that one apostle down there in Texas, I want to send double honors because they do real well. For the brethren around the world, pushing this truth uncut, unfiltered, giving you good, bad, and ugly of the scriptures, correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with the people on the planet, declaring warnings and salutations. For the hopeful elect, I hope this is edifying for the aqua, the few, and the true that listens to say the charity keep doing so. But scorn and scoff for reprobate two third Israelites and 17 other nations who are in the midst of Jacob's trouble is only going to get a whole lot worse. Anyway, this is just one of them one hit or quitter type of scenarios. Okay? You see the word emancipation. You know, people here want to think of the Emancipation Proclamation and think that they was freed. Okay? No. And that would actually go against the scripture because of the fact that it says uh, Deuteronomy 28 16, which I'm going to get real quick, basically says just that. Make it real quick, make it real painless. Okay, this is Deuteronomy 28, 6, 8. It says, And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Buy you. Redeem. Redeem. That's the word right there. I mean, pull you out of the slavery. We still here. We haven't been freed. And that Emancipation Proclamation was bullshit. So now let's go and prove that real quick. You see the word Emancipation. Okay, if you look this up under one layer and whatnot, and because we tell you all the time that emancipation doesn't mean the slavery, it means transference. You'll be like, man, I looked it up, man, and it came up this shit and blah, 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 and y'all full of shit. Now, watch this real quick. I'm going to make this real quick and easy for you. Okay, you see that? The fact the process of being set free from legal, social, or political restrictions, liberation, and emancipation of feminist ideas. Okay, you see that? But what is a lot of the legal jargon? Okay, so sorry about that. But yeah, so like I said, looking at it for face value is what it is. But like I said, once you go into the the uh, the uh, Latin, which is what a lot of the laws and everything is written in as well, because of the fact of uh, the judicial system and things. Let's nature, let's go over there and look that up. So let's go here in Latin. It says this, emancipation, look at this word here, conveyance, okay, emancipate, emancipato, emancipation, releasing, making over, making over, conveyance, look up that word conveyance, plug it in here. Conveyance, the action or process of transporting someone or something from one place to another. He was building vessels for the conveyance of life card law. What would I say? The law? Look at the law. The legal process of transferring property from one owner to another. Protective measures that might be taken before the conveyance is concluded transfer. Like we tell you all the time, emancipation means to transfer. Slavery for the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American was transferred and whatnot from uh, by by Lincoln to go from hardcore slavery to to a uh, 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 slave labor, slave wages, uh, pay for the for the convenience of the um, industrial revolution that was coming upon coming upon America at that time. So we've never been released. We still here. So that means this scripture is still in effect for these Edomites and all the other people that took part and 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 benefited from it. 
This is Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. So guess what? This Edomite is stuck with us still being in his hand. So when Yahweh Shah shows up, his penalty is death for having done that. So that should be very exhilarating for you Israelites, the ones that know that they are awake, uh, 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 as they say, the hopeful elect, because like I said, the, uh, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah is coming back to liberate us and put the man that held us in captivity all this time to death. And the, death, the ones that don't go into death go into hardcore slavery for a, a thousand hardcore years. So with that being said, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakodash. Again, to the apostles and elders of JMS on the different parts of America that they are in, you know, out in New York and down in Texas and, and the elder bishops in Connecticut. I send them honors because they do real well. The brethren around the world pushing us truth on cut on filter it. Give you good, bad, and ugly descriptions, correctly breaking down the prophecies and interaction with the people on planet. Again, salutations because we are declaring war on the planet. Hopefully, like to hope that's uplifting and edifying. Aqua, if you're intruders, listen to say the chair to keep doing so. It's going to scoff for reprobate two thirds Israelite, 17 other nations. So, for the first group, a hearty shalom, and the second group, a bar ba bar. Okay, I should say. Um, the hopefully elect that should be uplifting and exhilarating. So for the first group, a hearty shot of warm. And for you, it's going to scoff a rep, pay two thirds Israelites and 17 other nations in the midst of Jacob's troubles. It's going to get worse. So for you all, a ball, a ball.